Hi, this is String Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of the module of strings. Now in this video, we will simply explore the string in our IntelliJ IDE. Now in the previous video, we actually learned about how do we create the strings in Java and what are the various methods related to strings in Java. So let us now jump on to the IntelliJ IDE and start exploring the strings in detail. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, let us first create a simple string object by using string space str equal to let's say hello and now let us print s out str so here we get hello as the output pretty simple so to create a string you just need to use the double quotes opening one and the closing one right and in between whatever you write will be the value of the string object that is actually tracked down with the help of this reference variable of str and now let us try something different str dot length and let us run our code so here in the output we get 5 now the string as already said in the previous video are actually the sequence of characters so here we have 5 characters inside the string object so h e l l o that comes out to be the 5 characters so this string has actually the length of 5 and now let us try something different string str equal to null let us now run our code and here it has simply thrown the null pointer exception now as a developer you will face this exception quite a lot of time and this null pointer exception is pretty annoying while developing any application so please be careful while using any variables and if that variable is null and if you try to use it then it will simply throw this exception of null pointer exception so here in the line number 10 we have some exception this str dot length is throwing this exception just because this str is actually not initialized if we use a blank string here instead of null then it will not throw any exception because we don't have any characters in between the double quotes so make sure it is blank but at least not null right so how do we handle the null pointer exception in java so in that case you have to write the if condition if in case you think that the variable might throw the null pointer exception so if str is not equal to null then simply execute this code or in the else part simply print out something that be careful the variable string is null so here let us print it so here in the output we get be careful str is null so please don't use it if this condition falls right and now let us try something different so here we have the string str equal to hello now let us define one more string of let's say str2 equal to let's say world fine and here suppose if I write string str equal to str plus str2 and let us print out the value of str and let's see what happens so here what I'm doing is I am simply adding the hello plus world and assigning it to the string variable of str right so let us print it out so here in the output we get hello world now you must be thinking in the previous video I told you once you initialize the string then the string becomes immutable that is you cannot modify the string object so how come we are able to modify this string variable now this is simply because the compiler what it do internally is that use the class of string builder to modify this string object now the string builder from the previous video we know that it is mutable in nature that is it can be modified so the compiler internally uses the string builder class to modify the string object right so what you see in front of you it is not actually happening because strings are immutable and you cannot modify it once it is initialized so the concept of string builder we will cover it up in our upcoming videos so here let us now try something different string str equal to welcome string str2 equal to again welcome and now this time let us define string str3 equal to new string welcome so here i have simply created a new string object of str3 now here it is showing some warning that new string welcome is redundant now here if you press more 
it is simply showing that using the creating the string with the help of new keyword is rarely used and it is not at all necessary and may cause a performance issue if it is done often enough. Now whenever we create the object using the new string, it simply creates a new object irrespective of if the same string is actually present inside the string pool or not. Fine, so don't use the new keyword to create the new string object unless necessary. Right, so as of now, I am just trying to show you some example with the help of this new keyword. Now, if I print s out str equal to equal to str2 and let us print out few more things s out str equal to equal to str3 let us print one more thing str dot equals str3 so now let us run our code so here in the output for this statement we get true now just because we are using the string literals method to create the string object so these two objects that is str and str2 are actually equal both in terms of value and also in case of object. So here we get true in the output. But in case of this case, str equal to equal to str3. Now since this str3 object has been created using the new keyword, so it has simply created the new string object. Fine. So here str and str3 are two different objects. So that is why here we get false as the output. But now, Using the equals method, we actually compare the content of two string objects such as the content of str object is welcome and the content of str3 object is actually welcome as well. So here it simply returns true in the output. So use only double equal to operator to compare two objects and use equals method to compare two values, not the object. Fine. So let us now proceed and explore more. So here I will simply change this capital W to small w and let us use s out to check out if these two values are equal or not. So if str dot equals str2, let's check it out what it gives us. So in the output we get false just because the string objects are actually case sensitive. So here we have the capital W and here we have the small w. So that is why these two strings are not equal. But if we use the method of dot equals ignore case str2 then let's see what happens. And now this time we get true as the output just because of this method equals ignore case. So this method simply compares the two string irrespective of their cases that is whether it is all in lower case or in upper case fine. And now let us now proceed and check out few of the important methods of the string such as str dot to lowercase. Let's check the output. So in the output we get the string str all in lowercase that is welcome fine and let us use to uppercase method. Run the code and we get the welcome all in caps letter welcome. And here again if you notice the strings are immutable so this method to uppercase actually creates a new object with all the characters in the caps. So here if you notice this method simply returns the string object. So if you want the proof then let me show you s out and simply print the original string object. Let's check the output. So here this statement prints out the content of the string object fine. So here we can notice the str is not at all modified even after the execution of this statement. So this statement simply creates a new object of string. And now let us now check out the method of char at let's say index of 3. Let's run the code. So here we get c as the output because at the third index that is 0, 1, 2, 3 we have c as the alphabet. So here we get C as the character in the output console. And suppose here if I write instead of 3 as 30 then let's see what happens. So in the output we have some exception string index out of bound exception. So string index is actually out of range 30 because our string is not so much long that we are expecting it here to find out the result at index 30. So here it has simply thrown the exception of out of bound exception. So please make sure 
you give the index value within the indexes. Fine. So how to get all the methods of this string str? So if you simply press the dot operator, so here you will find the char at method to uppercase to lowercase equals length of the string compared to method concat method contains method ends with method and all these methods are there that are used to perform the operation on strings. So you can simply check out all these methods present right here with the help of this documentation. Find split method to split the string and also how to find the substring in case of strings in Java, right? And now at the end, I would like to show you one more thing. Suppose if I want to print the welcome along with these quotes, such as this quote and also this quote. So how can we print the quotes inside the output console? So here, suppose if I write double quote again here and double quote again here. So the Java compiler, what it do, it simply reads out like this. This is one string and this is one string and it do not know what this welcome is doing in between these two strings. So here you have to tell the compiler that you have to print this code and also this code in the output console. So here we have the backslash character. That is the escape character. So if you write backslash here, then it simply tells the compiler to print the subsequent character that is the double code. And here as well, let us use double code. And now let us run our code. So in the output, we get welcome within the double quotes, right? And if you want to print the welcome within the single code, then you can do it as well with the help of escape sequence, right? So backslash and then single code. And let us run our code. So here we go in the output, we get welcome within the single codes. So this was all about the strings in Java. So I hope now you know everything about strings in Java. So this was all about this video. And in the next videos, I will show you the string builder and string buffer in detail. So make sure you join me in the next videos and catch you guys later. This is Shreks from Smarthead signing off and please subscribe to this channel. And also please do comment your feedback below this video. Your feedback is my motivation. So please do comment, like and share the video as much as you can. Thank you and have a good day.